23 in white. Faceoffs since that Virginia game really have been a struggle for Syracuse. And an early faceoff violation against LaSala. So Syracuse will begin on offense. In goal for Virginia is Alex Road. Fourth winningest goalie in program history behind Adam Gittleman, Kip Turner, and Tillman Johnson. Tucker Dordovic coming off a four-goal game against North Carolina. And there is Siebold, 14 in orange, getting the start on attack in place of Chase Scanlon. And Syracuse turns it over. Midfielders in the country. He's a threat to score, too. Plays it to Peter Dirth, the All-American short stick D midi. But behind Dirth, very little depth today. No Dami Alatamoye, no Brandon Aviles. Jamie Trimboli against Chris Merle. Trimboli with the lefty shot. 1-0 Syracuse. They've been hearing it all week long. The Orange are done well. Trimboli, a fifth-year senior and a captain, known as a big righty shooter, goes to his 29 in Orange, Stephen Rafis, the leading scorer for the Orange, top cover guy for Virginia. And Sawstead's really done a nice job here of late against Kavanaugh and Sowers and Gray. Wasn't healthy at the beginning of the season. About shot and a score, beating Road low. 2 nothing, Cuse. Everyone talks about that first midfield. Tucker Dordovic, Jamie Trimboli, Brendan Curry. Well, Lucas Quinn, he's got a thing or two to say in regards to playmaking. 26 in orange, uses that top shoulder, quick. Release. Syracuse always has options in terms of who they want to attack. Xander Dixon, he's been an invert midi. Playing from up top here, though. Dixon, a four-point game against Utah last time out. Marked by Peter Durth. Now Connor Schellenberger. Over to Ian Laviano in Virginia. is on the board. You said it right at the beginning. Virginia's got two quarterbacks. Yeah, most teams nationally have that guy at X. Carolina has Chris Gray. Notre Dame has Pat Cavanaugh. Maryland has Jared Bernhardt. Duke has Michael Sowers. Well, Virginia, they've got two. Connor Schellenberger and Matt Moore are point guards. Guys that that shot by Cormier was a, was a bomb, and it hit Porter right in the leg. Playing goalie in college lacrosse, playing goalie in lacrosse at any level. It's crazy. Got that ball flying at 90, 100 miles an hour, no pads hardly. Cormier on the doorstep. He has been the man with the extra man. That is his eighth EMO goal of the season. He's been the man because he has some versatility in his game. That last time he took a shot was from the high left wing. He's awesome in that spot. But because of the Canadian background. <laughs> you were on the receiving end of a few of those. Yeah, I played with incredible passers. Two guys you mentioned, Kavavit, Rob Kavavit, and Casey Powell were kind of like two quarterbacks like Virginia has with Matt Moore and Connor Schellenberger. Like, versatile guys who can create their own offense, but also pass and make everyone around them better. Here comes Dordovic now. Dordovic feeding the hilts on the inside for the quick stick. Virginia has Peyton Cormier. Syracuse has Owen Hiltz. Stylistically a little bit different, built a little bit different, but they occupy the same spot. They can crush it on the high wing, but they can also beat you inside with unbelievable hands. And I don't care who you're playing, that's going to play at the next level. I, I was unbelievably impressed. Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes type stuff. 
Now, you know, he could very well go to the Jets, and, and, and there goes his mojo because you get that Jets karma. But I'm believing in Zach Wilson as a member of Gang Green. You can do that, but you also need to believe that Jet fans will boo regardless, right? You're from the state. We're used to disappointment. Lucas Quinn makes it 4 2, his second of the game. Well, Syracuse fans turned John Desco into a hashtag last week. They got to like what they're seeing so far. Quinn can hammer it. Mentioned earlier with his first goal, incredible wrist strength. Watch how he snaps this. Just bam. Alex Road is a lefty goalie. Look at the placement there. Rafus against Kologi. Over to Dordovic. Finds Rafus going low. It'll stay with the Cuse. You saw that shot by Rafus, who's hit two pipes. This time he brings it up a little bit. On those pipe shots, he was shooting low, using the earth. If that's on Cage, that's a goal. Curry to Trimboli, who caught it in traffic and finished. Now this is a team playing with a little more life today. Five to two. This is like straight boomerang stuff. Curry force feeds the crease, and it looks like the Virginia defense thinks the ball's on the grass. Graham, that it would be a big surprise if he ever played for Syracuse again. Here comes Dordovic. Back to Tromboli. Two goals already. Seabold beats Road. Four straight by the Cuse. One word to describe this goal. Patience. Dordovic goes down the alley. Kicks it back to Tromboli up top. The defense converges in Owen Seabold. Chase Scanlon's replacement. He shows you, well, I can plant, I can rip, I can score. Charlie Bertrand, 300 career points. Now Peter Garno, Porter the save. Quick programming note, Maryland Johns Hopkins will be on ESPN2 following our game. Syracuse rolling, Owen Hiltz, his second of the Orange. In transition, that is five unanswered. This is exactly how you practice transition. From defense to offense with a pull. Brett Barlow, 41 in orange. Does an amazing job off of Peter Durth, who physically can punt return clear at will. But Barlow doesn't get selfish. A lot of pulls there in that spot. Their hands are free. They think they have a shot. No, you don't. Give it to your ball handlers. And Owen Hill, too, they, they haven't had any opportunities to strike from defense to offense. We saw Syracuse score on a Hilt's goal from Seabold that Brett Barlow took from defense to offense. Virginia's known as a run and gun team where they have the athletes in the middle of the field. They need to find some transition. I think our camera got fooled. Dixon had it all the way. Couldn't see Dixon, he was out of our frame, so I don't know if Syracuse was caught napping there. They tried the hidden ball trick. Let's see if the replay offers up a little more evidence. Dixon had a big day against Utah. So Garno has the ball, gets it to Dixon. What we're not seeing on the other side of the screen, there was another Virginia ball player that was carrying the ball where some Syracuse defenders could have been caught napping right there. There's Ian Laviano, right? Brett Kennedy thinks Ian Laviano has the ball. I mean, he 100% and then spin the rock. And this Syracuse zone right now is, is making Virginia think. It has slowed down this offense. You can see it.
Moore against Earth. Over to Dixon. Xander Dixon has come to play. Back-to-back -back goals at 7-4. And he's showing some range. So Dirth is caught behind the cage with Matt Moore. Okay, Matt Moore is one of the best players in the country. So Syracuse has to support that matchup. And they really slough towards the crease area. Seabold looking to get past Merle. Here's Rafus, 0 for 5 against Austin. Good recovery by 11. Here comes Seabold, trying to get top side on a bounce to Rafus. Has his man hung up. Shot clock at 1. Rafus beats the shot clock and scores. That's a killer. Virginia buckled down and played some good short stick defense. They had Syracuse exactly where they wanted, and then late in the possession, Rafis hangs the defense up, and honestly, Kate Sawstead thinks he has no angle at that spot, right? Just by the way he approaches Rafis, he doesn't even look at him as a threat. I didn't even know I was gone. I was talking the whole time. <laughs> You've done that to me before. I just thought you weren't listening, that's all. <laughs> Here comes Connor, shot clock running down, and Jeff Connor makes it 8 5. He has been awakened and activated in the second half of the season. Yes, he has, Anish. Conference play, really impressed when I turned the tape on against North Carolina. A way you could beat the zone also, dodge it. And the opposition goes man up for 30 seconds, and that is on every successive violation from there on after. Thirteen to two, Syracuse on faceoffs. Tucker Dordovic coming off a four-goal game, the lone bright spot against Carolina. Syracuse spinning it, Seabold to Rafus, who's got his second. This is beautiful offense, and I'll tell you why. Initial Dodger knows he has a shorty on him, so Dordovic knows slide's going to come early. It's not dodge to assist. It's dodge to pass to assist. It's the, And you feel that way just by taking in the pace of this game, right? At half, Virginia has 11 shots. So a Virginia team that has 11 shots, you're, you're not really at panic mode when you're playing a team like Virginia that is accustomed to just flying all over the field and getting 50 shots in a game. So you feel like, okay, we must be near perfect, but four goals is nothing. Xander Dixon has three of the Virginia six. Well, this guy wants more playing time, and he's putting it on tape. We saw two rips from Dixon with the right hand from the outside. Now we see him coming from behind with his left hand. This is real versatility from 10 and White. Goals for Virginia, three by Dixon, one by the man who's got it, Jeff Connor. It has not been the usual suspects. Doc Sagan, bouncer. So we've seen a mixture of man and zone. And those change-ups by Leland Rogers, the defensive coordinator, forces Virginia to recalibrate. Aiken with a rocket. And just like that, it's a two-goal game. He's always been big time in big spots. Born to score, Doc Sagan. He's got range. He can let it fly in its senior day. Willing, the Cavaliers. Close to within one. 
Ten saves for Alex Road, and it seems odd, right, that this game is this close given how it's played out? Yes, you feel like Virginia is, is ready to pop, right? Five of the last eight shots have been the Cavaliers after a half of only 11, so they're, they're finding some offense. You know, when Syracuse goes into the zone, I think Virginia needs to be aggressive and dodge. Get the zone to move. Xander Dixon to Peter Garno. Dixon, the redshirt sophomore out of Greenwich, Connecticut, having one of his best games as a Cavalier. Certainly his best game against this type of competition. Keep him Zone on buster. the field. Keep him on the field. 130 of them goals. Had a couple the first two times these two teams played. Garno looking for the tie and a save by Porter. Did you see the top hand of Porter? Because Garno lets it fly over 90 miles an hour. That top hand speed of Drake Porter to make that save across his face was incredible. Porter came into the season regarded as arguably the best goalie in the country. Goalie play across the ACC, as good as it's ever been. Everybody's got a stud. And you need one. In terms of the body language and the flow from LaSala. Here's Tromboli over to Dordovic. Kastner staying with Tucker Dordovic. Fourth year sophomore from Portland. Now Rafus has the short stick matchup. Soliday. Rafus down the alley with that right handed cradle. Fakes the pass. Still plenty of time to shoot, feeding the crease. Hiltz, stinging corners. The hat trick for Owen Hiltz. Certain things in lacrosse you can't teach. One of them is crease awareness and sixth sense to sh catch the ball, turn and shoot all in one motion. This is a next level finish by Owen Hiltz. He catches the ball, with his back to the goal. The offensive players on that side of the midline. Syracuse 0 for 2 with the extra man. Scanlon was always a weapon on the extra man. He's not playing. Brendan Curry is. It's back to a four goal lead for the Orange. Curry's Johnny on the spot. See the C on his chest, he's a, a team favorite. Loved by all his orange teammates. Known to play in space, this time he's on that backside. Camped out for the quick stick. Curry. They've won 13 in a row. That's gonna be the hardest part for Virginia if they are to come back. Yeah, and if I'm Lars Tiffany, regardless, you've tried the three guys. I, I don't care in the fourth quarter. I'm rolling out Petey every time. I'm, yep. I'm just going to I'm gonna win or lose with him. Jamie Trimboli. And Syracuse matches its largest lead at five. First hat trick of the season for the fifth-year senior out of Victor. It seems like he's been the forgotten guy right on this offense. Rafis has blown up in 2021. You have Curry, you have Dordovic. This is a multi-time first-team all-ACC midfielder who is born to what, what do you What do you do in that span? you got three weeks. I think you have to have a plan where, like, the first week is, is, is very light, and I think the second week needs to be intense with some real big-time competitive inter-squad scrimmages where you're getting after it, you're running hard, and you're lifting, and then you taper that third week. I, I don't know. I, did you ever recall that kind of a layoff from the Not end of the regular weeks. season? No, I've, I've heard the we, we have seen two weeks, and, he, and here's the danger for Virginia, right? If you lose this game, Garno misses high. You're now probably going to be seated in that most likely four, five, six range. Four probably is out of the question. Matt Moore finds the back of the net. It's 13 to nine. Cavaliers saying, hey, 
Stop getting Daves. For the most outstanding player of that 2019 championship run, Alex Rode. The issue for Virginia. Okay, let's say you score. Can you get the ball back? Here's Bertrand to the cage. Bertrand scores. 13 to 10. Here come the cardiac Cavs, Kirk. Alex Rode has played with a huge X on his back, where in 2019 he had to be the difference. Charlie Bertrand's new to the Cavaliers. He's got the pedigree. Now we saw craziness on Thursday night. Duke left for dead. Two late goals by Sowers in the final minute to force overtime. Now Virginia. Now they don't play for three weeks. Moore feeding inside to Bertrand. Don't go away. That clear, or that blown clear from Syracuse. Sam Alexo's just a freshman. Who hunts him down in East? Cole Kastner. He's been the most valuable player for Virginia on the defensive end today. An amazing performance. And Char so Seabold has the ball here. I'm a little surprised by this, but. They've got Connors and Kastner on him, and he lost it, able to recover. Shuck Five it. seconds, and he'll flip it into the air, and Syracuse holds on for a two-goal win. I didn't see this coming. Either did you. Don't lie, you didn't see this one coming. Nobody saw this coming after Syracuse lost 21-9 to at home to Carolina. Lost by seven at home against Notre Dame. But they come to Klockner. The bicentennial game at Klockner. And they knock off a surging Virginia team that had won five